How y'all doing? Sorry, Good to see you. Good to I'm see you. We in here in the neighborhood. We're the, we're the neighborhood HOA president. HOA president here. Everybody watch out. I'm about to find everybody. All right, guys. So we're at the next rate this flip. Uh, this is a property that is currently owned by our personal favorite, Open Door Brokerage. Another house where they're losing their ass. They recently, how many people they lay off? 22, 23%? 560 people got laid off. And how many people got demoted? 110 people got demoted. So pretty safe to say that they had no clue what they're doing and sucks to suck, but we are investors. Got a great opportunity to buy more houses. And uh, yeah, we're at one of their houses here. And uh, I don't know, Jesus, we consider these to be the open door houses typically are the, the shit boxes of the neighborhood. Not because they're bad houses. It's just like the maintenance on these things. Open doors just like, yeah, we're just gonna list it up for sale and just hope for the best. Literally, I don't think they have anyone come out here and take care of it. So uh, we're rating this flip. Yeah, they bought this property for 580 and it's currently listed for 500. So they've already lost 80 grand. Um, so I'm pretty sure they're not gonna do anything crazy to this house at this point. But I mean, they pretty much have neglected the house since they purchased it, it looks like. So curbside appeal from the rip, we're gonna go ahead and give it a three. Uh, they've done the bare minimum. They come out here and did some weed killer and just decided that, yeah, well, I guess it didn't pull the weeds or the weed killer just didn't do its thing, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, if I'm trying to move in a neighborhood, I'm gonna spend a half a million dollars. You think I wanna take care of all this? Nah, 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 nah. I wonder, how, I wonder if they can outdo the amount of carpet as the other one. So, immediately, it's mostly carpet. Um, big windows. So Look how much carpet, dude. What are you gonna do down here? We're gonna do our calisthenics. Calisthenics, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. I got a belly, so my belly touches for my chest. <laughs> <laughs> well, cheat, yeah, I got room for all my, my activities in here. So, a lot of carpet, my goodness. There's literally carpet everywhere. Okay, so, big living room, overall feel walking in. Guys, what do we think? I'm not like two. You, like you guys are just hard to please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good feel already. You're finished this for a half million dollar house. You got your quartz countertop. These are also super cheap. They sparkle, which, you know, I don't know, whatever you're into. Cheap stuff, cheap appliances. I don't blame them. You don't put anything too expensive. If you're just trying to turn and burn, you're already underwater on this house, but like $500,000? This kitchen, man, is not bitching. So on a bitching scale of one to 10, it just ain't. Just Living room, more carpet. And wait, there's more carpet. Okay. Old bathrooms, they didn't touch those. Like I get it, like look, Open Door's model was never to come in and completely renovate a house like some of the ones that we've seen. It's never their model. But if you're gonna buy a house and list it for more than what, you, or hope to sell it for more than what you purchased for, you would think that you would do the little stuff, right? Don't put carpet in the whole entire house. It's crazy. Whoever managed this side of their, of their business, I feel like fired. I feel like of the 22% of people that got fired, they were all their contractors. <laughs> Bathrooms they didn't touch. Like where did they find that carpet, because there's just so much of it. It was like a dollar a square foot. I mean, this is a big master bed bedroom though. Like this house has so much potential. You gotta say, it does have a lot of potential for the amount of bedrooms it has, the amount of space that it has, the location, but like, this ain't it, chief. They tried to resell it for 600. Got these glass doors. They went French on us. They got the booby light. You don't have a normal is mediocre it? flip without the booby light. I just want to know you got a ceiling titty too, a ceiling titty too. My, my, and the way I, my wife told me that, she goes, I hate the booby lights. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She goes, you know these. I'm like, you said it, not me. So, yeah, the backyard's all right. Got an extended patio. All right, so backyard is, uh, we got a pergola that a tent that uh, extends from the, uh, the covered patio. It's honestly kind of nice for entertainment, but you know, there needs to be some landscaping done. I mean, the plants are dying, but they back up a, a little wash here. So there's no house directly behind them, which is actually kind of nice. So much here left to be desired for a half a million dollar house. Kyle, $500,000 to buy this house. Got plenty of citrus though. Got plenty of citrus. I mean, maybe we, that's what they're banking on. Say, so look, the value ain't in the house. The value is in that lemon tree back but there. Look how much immunity is right Yeah, there. immunity. Think how much citrus. Kyle's a big fan of citrus. Big yeah. citrus guy. Yeah. yeah. 
he's, he's, he swears by it. This is about what you can expect from Open Door, your friendly neighborhood flipper. For the longest time, so many investors, so many agents were afraid of the iBuyers in our market. Zillow tried to buy houses, they got out. Then they were dumb enough to partner with Open Door and Open Door is soon enough gonna be out of the business or they're gonna have to change how they actually transact. And offer pads the same. For so long, people were worried about, they're gonna come in, buy up all the opportunities, no one's gonna list houses with real estate agents anymore. Like it won't be a mom and pop world anymore. And I think sometimes we freaking overreact because this is the shit that they do. Now, BlackRock raised $33 billion to buy uh, single family real estate. Now that's a bigger problem because they're gonna buy up a third of the United States and those houses will never go back on the market ever. Once a hedge fund buys like BlackRock, it will never see the market ever again. At least when Open Door and OfferPad were purchasing, they were hoping to just flip and just dealing with large sums of money to make a good profit and they would actually come back on the market for home buyers like me and you. When these hedge funds come in like BlackRock and the ones just like them, we'll never see those houses again. The, the nation of renting instead of owning and being okay with that is closer than what you think. But for this house, um, overall kitchen bathrooms, I'm gonna give the kitchen, uh, the kitchen itself a bare minimum. We'll get a score of four, uh, but with a combination of the bathrooms, which they literally did nothing, I probably have to give that a two and a half. So all in all, let's give it a three and a half. 3.5, you guys, what do you think? 3.5? You think that's high? It should be lower? I mean, it's a flip and they didn't flip. Right. They left it. Okay. You know what I'm well, yeah. Okay, so they didn't really flip it. Okay, I, I see. I see the line of logic here. I'll go down to 3.1. I would touch in the twos, but the kitchen they actually touch, so I can't. So let's do a let's do a 3.1 for the kitchen and bathrooms. Let's go overall finishes. Uh, they didn't really do much on the overall finishes. That's going to get a 2.9 on the overall finishes. Um, curbside appeal, as you guys saw when we walked up, I'm gonna. I said I give that thing a three. I'm gonna stick it at a three. Keep it flat three. The backyard with the work that needs to be done. Um, it's nice because it's covered, but that's about it. I'm gonna give that thing about a 2.5. This is like all the open door listings we go to are all trash. This neighborhood's super nice though. I, I used to live in this neighborhood, so I'm gonna be a little biased on this one. But overall, the house itself, man, this is gonna be sitting solid, solid in threes, like a 3.3 for the whole thing. And this is a $500,000 house in Gilbert, Arizona. The sad thing is someone's gonna end up buying this house. They won't buy it for 500, but someone's gonna buy this house and literally have to do so much work themselves. Did you guys know, like you can go look at active listings right now on the market, open door and off for pet listings take up about 26 to 30% of active listings in Phoenix right now they're all just sitting on the market so i was looking earlier i think it's like 13,000 listings <clears throat> of the 13,000 listings about 4,800 of them were open door offer pad that's crazy and that's why they're laying off so many freaking people so as investors this is a great time to buy real estate especially the way that we talk about buying real estate creative you're gonna buy cash gotta be super duper cheap don't buy like these guys crazy thing is they still find a way to still be buying properties right now if you buy right this is the best time to be in real estate heck i don't know how many how many properties we purchased since the beginning of this year on wraps <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we've added at least, me me personally, my own portfolio, well over $10,000 in passive income, buying properties with none of my own money, um, doing seller finance. So this is the time to do that sort of strategy. And the properties that I don't purchase, I assign. I think this month we're set up to make a little, oh, hopefully we break the $100,000 threshold for creative deals as far as assignments. So guys, this is the time to do real estate. Just don't do it like these guys.